Hey folks, Tornado Twins here. This is Ephraim, and this is a quick look on the uh, first person shooter camera kit that you can uh, purchase on unityprefabs.com to uh, quickly develop a first person shooter. Now, first, let's take a look at the contents of what you get when you purchase this. Of course, there's a zip file, and as soon as you extract that, there's the license agreement and two folders. One is a Unity package, and the other is a Unity project. Now the Unity project you can use when you're starting a first person shooter from scratch. But the Unity package is very handy if you already have your game going and you want to import it into your existing game. Now if you open up the project by opening up the assets folder and then going to the scenes, you'll see we have three example scenes that you can open in Unity. So if you open up the example scene inside of Unity, this is what it would look like and there's a couple of items inside of a level holding here and then there is the prefab the first person shooter camera kit now it looks a lot like the default first person shooter uh, prefab that you get with unity but it can do a lot more it's a lot more advanced so uh, for example let me uh, show you a couple of the items that you can tweak let's open up the kit here and uh, we have a GUI or crosshair that is going to be in the center of the screen when we run the game as you can see here we can see a crosshair and you can replace this with your own target or your own graphic everything is about the ability to replace things also you notice that there is a gun in the viewport well this is in this case just a cube but it is there so you can easily replace it with your own gun model and your animations now if I start walking you'll notice that we have some head bobbing going on head goes up and down as well as left and right. Now I like this to be a very subtle effect. You can tweak this very easily in case you want your character to be more massive or bigger. You can change this. Let me show you exactly how. If you uh, go to the uh, player, you have some items that you can tweak. The uh, speed when your player is on the ground, your speed when your player is in the air, the jump force or speed, uh, the rotation speed when you drag your mouse around and the items that happen when you hit things in the air. Also, when we go to our camera, you can see that there's the head bobbing right here, and it's currently set to 0 0.03 for the X and then 0 0.08 for the Y. That means you can bob left as well as right. So if I wanna bob a little bit more exhaustively up and down, let me run the game here and tweak these variables at runtime. Let me walk around. Now let me tweak these a little crazier and go to, for example, uh, 0.1. Then now when I walk around, you will notice that my head will bob a little more crazier up and down. Now you can tweak this, of course, to your liking. You can also go with left and right if you tweak the X variable. And then you can tweak the speed of the head bobbing. For example, if I turn that into 10 and run the game, you'll notice it bobs very fast and then of course I can tweak it back to a 3 for example and this gives us somewhat of a feel that your character is a little bit more of a monster because it goes slowly up and down now you can tweak this to your liking of your game then you can replace the gun model here that should be pretty easy pretty doable to do and a very cool feature about the uh, this prefab is that this gun will always be rendered even though you go through the wall so if you've tried making your own first person shooter before you will notice that as soon as this object goes through the wall it is actually disappearing because it is going through the wall except in this case we have added some extra features that will make sure that your gun will always be rendered so that is what you get when you purchase the first person shooter camera kit and I would advise you to also check out the other kits for real-time strategy, third-person, side-scroller, and all those. All right, I'll talk to you later. Have fun.